there and welcome back to day two at NAB 2015 with Visual Impact. Uh, we've come here to the Black Magic stand today to see some very new exciting products from Black Magic announced here at NAB. Um, so first of all we've got two tiny um, cameras. We've got one that's based upon the Ultra Studio camera which can record 4K um, and that can be fed out via to an ATEM switcher as well. The size of it is ideal for smaller studios or for very much more discrete filming. Um, you, can, you have to record out onto Blackmagic's new video assist which is their recording and monitoring device so you can record HD onto um, the SD cards in the video assist in DNX HD or ProRes 10 bit 422. Really cool, ideal small studio camera to uh, expand their range with. Now, coupled with this, you've got their pocket camera micro um, HD camera, which uh, can record HD RAW onto SD cards. It's ideal for drones, um, for smaller uh, productions. So they both look very similar, one based upon the Ultra Studio and one based upon the pocket camera. Okay, so another really cool thing with the new Blackmagic uh, micro cameras is that with the 4K version, the Ultra Studio version, you can control that via the Atom switcher. So if you're using that on a gimbal head and you want to control that remotely, you can do so connected to an Atom switcher. And you've also got the B4 lens output control as well. Whereas on the, the smaller pocket camera size, the new micro pocket camera, you can control that wirelessly, so ideal on a drone um, when you can't access the camera directly, and it will record on, on board onto SD cards. Okay, and here we are further down on the Blackmagic stand to see another exciting release from Blackmagic at NAB 2015. This is here is the Ursa Mini. So based upon the original Blackmagic Ursa, but Mini. Now this one will go up to 4.6K in the sensor, Super 35mm. You've got a global shutter, up to 30 frames per second. Anything over that, it can record up to 60, but we'll go back onto rolling shutter. You can do a dual record of RAW and ProRes onto CFast 2 media. And you've got this in four different flavors. You've got 4.6K in PL and EF, or 4K in PL and EF. Now you can also now use um, put a, a 4.6K sensor into the original Ursa if you've already purchased one of those. Um, now Blackmagic is saying 15 stops of dynamic range. So it all sounds very exciting, nice new smaller compact design.